Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about the license permission. So for example, when you're running your, uh, because my version of this business central is still uh, the version 14, so I still have the access to the Windows client. And for example, if you are using, you are still using uh, any version before Business Central version 14, and uh, you still have uh, access to your nav development environment. So in this case, if you have any error like this, like saying you do not have the following permission on an object. So in this case, it's a code unit. It says, I do not have the permission on this code unit. If you look at your development environment, then you look at your license information. This only give you a very general information for like uh, how many call licenses you have, how many limited user licenses you have, and the other modules you have. But it does not give you the details of uh, what uh, object you have the permission on. So in this case, um, one uh, one thing can help you is like you can go to the partner source and go to, if you are a Microsoft partner, you can go to the partner source and then uh, find in the partner source business center, then you can find this customer name. And after you find this customer name, then you can download the registration key, which has the detailed license. So you will get something like uh, similar, uh, like this permission report detailed. And from this permission report detailed, then you can see the object you have permission with. You see this code unit, this is a code unit, and um, the range, you have permission for the code unit, all those details. So that's one way. Uh, another way, if you have, uh, uh, if you are using the North American version of uh, Dynamics Nav or Business Central, the NA version, then what you can do, you can go to the object designer, then you can go to the reports, then you have a report which says license permission. So you can run this report from your development environment. And for example, uh, if the error I have is saying, I do not have uh, permission for the OCR my service management, then uh, when you search in the object list by OCR service management, then you find this code unit. So then you're gonna use this object ID to search on the permission report. So the object type you want to search will be the code unit. And then uh, when you preview this report, or you can print it to Excel. When you print it to Excel, it will be easier for you to filter the Excel report to find uh, if you have uh, if you have uh, if you have permission for that code unit. So remember, we are looking for the code unit. This code unit is uh, only uh, if you do if the error message saying you do not have. Um, permission for that OCR service management code unit and you find the object ID for the code unit is 1294. So then you can compare with this report. It tells you for the code unit range from 1 to 99999, you have all these permissions. You have the read, insert, modify, delete, execute permission and this object 1294 is included. So which means you have permission with this code unit. But if you are having some code unit not, not within not within the range of this report, then uh, you will not, which means you do not have the permission for that. Or if you have a code unit saying like you do not have execute permission, and then uh, if you find here, it really does not have, this execute does not have um, yes on it, that means you don't have you do you do not have the execute permission for that code unit. So anyway, like uh, this license permission is another way for you to find out your uh, license permission. If you get an error, if you ever ever get an error saying like you do not have the following permission on a specific object, then you can search. You can run this license permissions report uh, and then find if that object fall into the range you have the permission list. If you don't, then you have to add that permission to a license from the partner source. Okay, so uh, that's, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.